All right, tool groupies, today we're testing out some receptacles using the Kiwete Circuit Breaker Finder Kit. Start by pulling out the transmitter, which doubles as a GFCI receptacle test. Press the on or reset button for two seconds, then plug it into the receptacle. On the bottom, a green wiring status indicator light's going to come on, indicating that this is properly wired. Plus, a green screen will appear, and you'll see the word correct on that screen. You'll notice three little prong blocks on the lower left-hand side of the screen. This represents neutral, live, and ground. And your circuit voltage appears on the top of the screen. Now, when all of this happens, Happens, the prong blocks are not going to be blinking because the receptacle is wired correctly. But here's something that you need to know before we proceed. But since this one is wired correctly, we can hold down on the test button for two or three seconds and it should trip the breaker. Now, unfortunately, this one does not trip the breaker, which means this one's defective. It's got an internal issue. Just to verify that, I'm going to manually test the GFCI by pushing in on the button that's built into the receptacle itself and it does not trip. Now allow me to show you another benefit of this tester as we test it on an upside down GFCI. All I got to do is turn it on and plug it in. The green wiring indicator is already lit up, letting me know that it is wired correctly. But since it does hold memory, I'm going to pull it out and view the LCD. Screen. This allows me to verify that the line voltage and the wiring and the prong blocks and all that stuff is correct because it says correct. Now we can plug it back in and test it. Hold down on that test button for a few seconds, you'll see a red and green light start blinking. And if you pull it out, you'll see the word pass on the screen, letting you know that it did pass the ground fault test. Now let's see what it does on a receptacle that has no hot wire running to it. If you plug in the tester and there's no voltage on the receptacle, you're going to see these little dashes here on screen and the word open. This also indicates an open hot wire, so your hot wire is essentially loose, not attached, or it's disconnected before it gets to the plug-in. Now if you plug it in and the polarity is reversed on the live and the neutral, the red indicator light's going to instantly light up, letting you know that there's a problem along with the orange screen. Now you can see that the voltage is good, but the word reverse does appear on screen and the neutral and live indicator blocks are blinking, it's telling you your hot neutral is reverse and you need to correct the wiring issue now once that's done you can hit the reset button and the new reading should indicate that it's wired correctly but let's say that the wiring is right at this point in time but the ground is disconnected once again the red light's going to indicate a problem combined with the orange screen even though the line voltage is fine the word open will appear and the ground prong is going to be blinking letting you know that you need to hook up your ground wire the same concept applies if you have no ground and the live and neutral are also reversed your voltage is going to appear with the red light and an orange screen but instead of all three of the prong blocks blinking only the ground will be blinking so you'll have to fix that ground wire before doing anything else. Just inspect the polarity while you're at it. One more thing, you can have everything on this wired correctly, but you could get an orange screen. If that happens, chances are the voltage has dropped below 85 volts or above 135, which is beyond normal range. I think this circuit tester is a good investment, especially whenever you combine it with a circuit breaker finder kit that's cheaper than other brands on the market, and you can get an extra 15% off right now by checking the links in the description box below. Now, I was given this tool to review, but I in no way profit from the link that you're going to click on. I base my reviews on tested in the trades experience, and that's it. Pop that clutch, subscribe, and follow along for more.